Hi guys, so this video here is taken from a full course on building a track from scratch in Logic. You'll be able to watch all of the Logic related videos for the course on YouTube. There will be a link to the playlist below for you. But in this course, we're basically building this whole track from scratch. If you want to follow along with that you can and if you want to download the project file and all the samples that go with the course there's a link to that in the description as well i hope this video is useful to you and that you're able to follow along with the course let's jump into it Right, so still working on these main sections. I'm going to get an EQ on each one. I don't think they really need any correction, but there can maybe be some improvements made and we can maybe find anything that needs to come out. But for the most part, I feel that they sound good. So let's solo the center one. That's what we're going to work on first. So tell me. Now we've got loads of low end going on, but remember we've actually got rid of that at the bus stage anyway. So don't need to worry about it, but we will just stick on a low pass and we can just bash it in at 40 and we know it's taken care of at both stages. And then we know that's taken care of at both stages. So tell me. Let's do a bit of a sweep. I need to know who so something I'm hearing is a little bit of a lift around 800 is actually maybe going to do this quite nice, especially on this middle vocal. And we won't necessarily need that on the side, but just there, that actually worked really quite nice. And I think it would again benefit to use the Vintage Collection and use the Tube EQ. And what we can do on here is we can dial this to around the 800 marker on the low peak. We can actually peak it like this by a few dB. So tell me, I need to know. Let's take a busier section. Is this something you could show? Is this something you could show? Is this something you could show? It makes the vocal feel a little bit more up front. So let's just try it in context. I'm still gonna have the sides muted. Let's just help lift the vocal in there a little bit and we'll leave the channel EQ on we'll take that bump out and just leave it cut there. Something that's becoming evident as we work on this is the piano is a little bit loud now and what we can do to sort of negate that is quite simply just turn it down a little bit. It's currently at what, minus 1.4 we'll just take another dB out so we'll just do minus 2.5 just a little bit lower than it was. Notice how I decided to take that down instead of bring anything else up. Generally, always going to be bringing things down at this stage. Um, you know, we're going to be close to our headroom as it is. We always want to be sort of reducing and taking things away, unless we're really going to do a bit of an EQ boost to add a bit of feel to something. Even then, we can cut other areas and bring the level up that way. And on the sides, I'm going to bring the tube EQ over as well. What I could hear the sides really benefiting from, and just make sure we turn these low peaks back down, um, is a lift probably around the 1K region. So up in this top section here, we've got the high bandwidth, and like the high frequency. I'm going to bring that right down to sort of 1K on both of these. Bring the bandwidth up to sort of 3-ish, so it's not just this narrow spike. And we're going to be extreme. We're going to go to sort of 6 dB. That should make it really stick out. 
And then if that's too much, we can just work our way backwards from there. So what's going on now? We've got all of the sort of body and weight is in the middle vocal with that like 800 lift and just the way it's been treated. And then we've got an extra little high end difference on these ones that are panned hard left and hard right. So if we were to listen to it in solo. It's really quite harsh and thin. If we listen to this one, it's got loads of body to it. But when we put them all together, it really does make sense in our ears. We've got all that weight in the middle and then the big stereo effect is kind of like the thinner aspects. So that's all working together pretty nicely for us. Now, a lot of these effects here they're all actually really nicely balanced already, which has worked out well. That's why we've been careful with our gain staging and planning it as we go ahead. I think the only thing I would like to like to do is just maybe adjust the balance slightly of the higher one, which is feeling that's sticking out just a little bit too much when everything's together. I literally just want to bring it down to maybe minus seven where the others are at minus five. It just stops that kind of, not quite a piercing tone, but it just balances it out that there's not this extra bit of high end in there. You might agree, you might disagree, but that's what I'm going to roll with. We also need to check out the extra little bits here that we put in and we built these uh, and we were very careful to make sure we got some sensible levels. seem good and like they don't need compression they don't need eq um they've been sent to some effects and obviously we bounce them out as uh effects with like straight into stereo uh straight into audio that's good yeah i think we're, we're pretty much there at this point and the last thing to do here is have a good listen through and see if anything sticks out overall um, and we're going to turn off any elements that wouldn't necessarily we they wouldn't necessarily want to be in there so if we turn off the piano for example um, all the strings are already taken away. Got all of our just our main elements in focus now. Can you tell me what we are? I can't get, can't get too far.
and listening through, we're in a good position. The next thing that we really need to look at now is the piano, which mainly is a level thing, definitely some compression. I know we've done lots with the velocities, but at this point, let's, let's compress it, let's control dynamics that way. Um, probably a touch of EQ as well, but for the most part, we are very close. Oh, 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 oh,